what's up guys it's me boy kwis and we are back again with another video and today's a special video because it's patch day patch notes have dropped the patch has dropped new patch here we have another update in like the last month or something i don't remember when the 4.5 dropped but here we are again with new more new Tekken 7 stuff and one thing i gotta say off the bat is that i think it's weird that we already have another update because 4.5 wasn't too long ago and we've played like three different versions of this game this year and for me personally, who's been competing in Tekken World Tour, like this is, I literally have my regional finals in like two weeks. I'll be competing in that. And it's like, I am now going to do that on a different version of the game, but whatever, let's just get into the video. And before we begin, I'm sorry for like the lack of like gameplay content recently. Um, I've just been out and about and not be able to do as much as I'd like, but I have like three or four something tournament run videos coming up. I have some sets coming up. I have a lot of gameplay footage coming. So please make sure you keep your eye on that. You know, subscribe so you don't miss it like this video so you don't miss it i don't know how this is going to help you not miss it but trust me you're not going to miss it if you subscribe and like this video and join the members i guess and another thing before we begin uh congratulations are in order because this past weekend at the mix up this is something i actually realized for the first time because i thought i had done it already um i commentated my first master event it was my first second world tour master event that i commentated my first master event top eight um that i've ever commentated which is weird you think i'd done that before right i thought like i had done that before until i started thinking about it because I, it just feels like that's weird i hadn't done that yet right like i'm not weird for thinking that i should have done that already but you know yeah my first master event uh the past weekend i commentated which was cool i guess um it was a weird tournament for me for a bunch of reasons which i will not get into here but yeah my first master event that's pretty cool to have done now but anyway let us get into this patch so this is a bit of a tiny patch kind of i guess um the patch notes are in front of me right here and you know there's like I know oh, there's some small changes i'll say like for example you know king his running three is plus now um instead of zero on block not gonna lie i thought it was plus on block anyway so it doesn't change much for me and also the nerfs some of the wall crushes like claudia's running two Alyssa's running two and laws uh dss forward four they nerfed some them somehow because basically in certain situations on big characters they give guaranteed like back turn hits so they nerfed that so they don't get that anymore on the wall crush the new tactics they can't do that and also they sped up law's rage drive when in, in dss so it's like i think it's 22 frames when it's in dss um so you can actually do it in combos now and i guess in neutral is something he can do because it is no longer like fully 24 frame well, i think it's 26 or something reactable so i guess he can do in neutral but the thing is he'll be in dss as he's doing it so it might be a bit obvious uh, i don't know i don't know um i don't we'll see how that one plays out i guess the big boy we have to talk about is mr feng Wei because he got some nerfs and I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the first times I've seen nerfs or like changes for a character in in uh, uh, Tekken. And I've sat there and just thought to myself, all of these nerfs are completely fair. You know, because obviously the last 4.5, we had like the death of Farquhar and Leroy and Lydia and blah, blah, blah. But this one, I think that all the nerfs are completely fair. I think they keep the character strong. And I don't really see too much crazy with it. So let's just get into the game and take a look. And actually real quick, before we do get in on Feng, I do have to say one thing they didn't fix is this uh in the most recent in 4.5 they made katarina's full crash down forward four minus 14 on block um and for some reason huang's while setting three will never be a punish on it you see punish didn't come up there actually i can show you huang's while setting three which is i14 will never be a punish on it for some reason it always comes out as i15 so huang can never punish this properly um they didn't fix this i don't know it's clearly meant to be a bug it's clearly not intended because of the way the the 14 flickers for the 15 flickers for a seven second before it shows 15 it does 14 15 you see it really fast there which doesn't normally happen when a move comes out for a punish so it's clearly a bug that they need to fix and they didn't but well i'll still hate playing katarina regardless so i'll sort of go through each thing change in order and uh say which like say how i feel about them and basically how why i feel like they're good change regardless first off his shoulder uh the hitbox in his shoulder has been reduced significantly so I'm sure you saw this combo at some point where it's back them down and then do shoulder. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore because if Feng now just stays down, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, shoulder no longer hits ground on the big uh, the, on the bigger characters. Say this only worked on like slightly big males, like smaller males like Lee and Huang. It didn't work on or big males like Feng, Miguel, Brian, and obviously like Gigas and Jack. This did work on, but it doesn't work anymore. Feng does not get this. It's a lot harder for his shoulder to hit grounded. It says I don't know if it will hit grounded at all. Well, we saw as he was getting up a hit grounded so in this situation you just staying down now um and i guess it's a it can create a bit of a mix-up because you know feng would sometimes just like do this into like stomp instead so that's the only thing you can do but like 
you know maybe Feng now does the splat and like he can normally do stomping so if you want to get up and block the low then he does the mid and you're hit by it so i don't know there's stuff going on there but for the most part he's not going to get uh this anymore and i think that's fine because you guys have seen i've been doing a lot of Feng gaming recently the damage on that was absolutely absurd i'm glad they got rid of it i'm and it's a good way to keep shoulder having the damage it has anyway because shoulders like Feng's long range 13 frame punish because his hotkey is kind of trash. So even at minus 15, he can't really launch things because of the um, range, because of the range of his hotkick. He will be able to launch a lot of things like minus 15. So shoulder was like a good replacement option that does a nice chunk of damage for him. So I think that's fair. Next up, the ultimate Feng game move in itself, back Kempo 2. Uh, no longer can you do back Kempo 2 into shoulder. Uh, they have changed it now so that when you back roll, it's basically the same as what they did to Fax back one. You can just get straight up after blocking a back Kempo 2. Again, I think this is fair, fair trade. Uh, back Kempo 2, the risk reward, the, the return you got for this move um, was amazing. You can do back Kempo, confirm any whiff, literally any whiff. Press that to immediately follow up with the shoulder for a lot of damage. I think this is a fair nerf to Feng completely. You know, and they just get back up. You've returned to neutral. That's all it goes. And then the final nerf they did is Feng's. Back Kempo 3 is now minus 16. Again, another one I think is fair because it was really, you know, I, I never was really saw people use back Kempo 3 that much anyway. Um, but it's something you can only redo really when you confirmed a big whiff. And it was only minus 12, I think, before. It was, well, it should be 13. Was it 13 as well? It was minus 12, actually, which is weird because it's technically a hop kick. But anyway, it was minus 12. Now it's minus 16. I think it's fair to launch a move like this. You know, I don't see any reason for it to not be launch because it's something you should only really be going for once you've confirmed a big whiff and then you go for it um can't really just throw it out anymore without that risk so i think those are fair enough to think uh his risk reward has gone up slightly and he still has his down back three they didn't they didn't change down back three at all um the rest of his lows are basically the same i think he can still be the pokey character back four is the same get away poke 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 and then get away for a bit and then play the same game you know back kempo back kempo two doesn't get the same reward but you know you're still going to get a wall spot at the wall so So I think as a character, he fundamentally st stays the same. I think the biggest change probably back Kempo 2, but I think it's very well deserved, especially after we saw the way that Ni won Eva with almost this exclusively. I, I think it's I think it's fair. And you might think that's all to talk about with these patch notes, but there was one sneaky, sneaky line in those patch notes that uh, have really huge implications for the future of this game. You may have missed it while simply looking at the patch notes. See at the top there, it says for all characters, side roll okemi after wall hit homing performance has been improved fixed where opponents attack from behind would land after an okemi what this essentially means is that tech roll is unequivocally now the best way to get up in this game because you don't get any crazy tech roll situations anymore with this game um for example and i think the characters this affects the most bar none is uh, akuma and ling these are the characters that were going to get you all the time for tech rolling and now you tech roll, get up safely. I can't do some of the things. I'm actually going to show clips of what it looks like now. For example, here's Akuma. Um, no longer being able to do like Akuma stuff anymore. And Ling, uh, this is what happens if she tries to go for an infant now because she used to get an infinite uh, certain angle at the wall. Now she does not get that anymore. And then, you know, for example, I had uh, tech traps that I used with Huarang as well. I'm not too sure. I guess they don't work anymore. Like we could actually, I'll show you guys. Let's find out. Now, this is a very common tech trap you'd, you'd see me using with wiring when i'm off axis at the wall yeah uh they just get up and block now this is what this is like something i use uh pretty frequently you know it's pretty cool get another launch you know go for some more damage and i've been seeing like around the way like this is like gone like universally um across the board for basically all characters and i'm gonna be honest i'm not too sure how i feel about that like for example for akuma for instance i think this really does affect akuma but i think akuma is going to be fine character is going to be fine regardless as long as he still has when you're back with your back to the wall an unseeable 50 50 launch launching 50 50 that you can't really punish that well regardless like i think akuma is going to be fine um i think ling this is a big hit to the character um and i think i don't know like people spend ages learning these tech traps cross up stuff you know for, for ling for example and like you know, now there's kind of all information that's just completely useless I'm, I'm sure people will find something new something else to do but like i think for like character a character like ling this actually is a huge hit uh to, to what made her so strong um me for example like, i don't know warring like he stays warring had good tech catches and stuff like that but like it wasn't like 
a main stay of the character like he had other things that were his strengths so i don't think he's he's bothered too much by this but i do think it's an it's an odd thing to do like i understand that akuma tech crawl stuff as someone who has played against one of the best akumas in the world for a very long time now and has to has had to play him in winners final grand final losers final like all over the world play this guy so much um personally i think it's a bit it's a bit harsh that's kind of, that's coming from someone who you know that downright despises playing against this character i'd say it's a bit harsh i think personally to do this across the board for everyone if this was the only way they could get rid of the tech roll uh the tech roll catches and everything like i don't know i think it's i think it's a bit crazy but now you just i guess just more people just have to play the game um i do think it made the game a bit exciting no i'm not gonna lie i think it was it, it added a layer of excitement like the jump over wall you know got another relaunch and and now it's completely gone from the game like i don't know um and obviously social media is having their takes you know right now i mean my own take about the the, the changes was mainly focused on like what we're doing with Safi. that's all i really i uh, had to think about that's all i was really cared about like, you know because there was nothing touched by Zafina in this batch but really that was more of a meme than anything because i think with Zafina, it's like as a character i don't really know how you nerf you know like normally when i don't like a character what they have I always have a clear plan like if they do this the character is more bearable was Zafina, i don't know you know i think for example her down three when she goes into stance maybe should be a bit more unsafe to give Zafina reason to not do it into stance and make that version more safe um mantis stance i do think needs to be changed somehow but again i don't know how and uh, maybe change some things so it's easier to punish her and like actually get proper reward for punishing her in some stances but with her i genuinely don't know how you nerf her so that's more of a meme than anything you know some people are saying like they're really happy the tech crawl stuff is gone some people are really upset but across the board it's just gone like that was the main thing that happened in this patch it just took away a layer of the game completely and now you just get up by tech crawling at basically all times but with all that said i'll probably be streaming literally right now as this video is uploaded so you can come to my stream and and come hang out there and ask me any questions you might have about this patch my thoughts and my feelings and what have you and with all that that's gonna be all from me on this video please like comment subscribe if you enjoyed and i will catch you guys in the next one.